What is up guys? Welcome back to damngoodcooking.com. It's your boy Dave. I know I've been absent. I've been gone. I'm always busy, busy or whatever else. But this time around, your boy had the flu. Oh my God, did it hit like a freight train. It was out of nowhere. My wife and I, we got up in the morning. It was uh, last Saturday. We went shopping. Actually, it was two Saturdays ago. We went shopping. And the moment we were in TJ Maxx, I was looking at this little custom Monopoly board. I have to show you that. It's it's really nice. Got it for a good price, a little over $100. It normally retails for over $200. It's all wooden set with a little flock image to roll the dice down on. Super cool. But the moment we stood in line, I felt it. I was like, oh no it's about to hit because the year before i had the flu and i got the flu shot and it didn't help and then this year i had went to the va i got the flu shot again so it's like every time i get the flu shot i get the flu but anyway it just it had me out i mean fever chills fever chills and oh it, it was horrible it was something horrible but your boy's back today we're going to make a different recipe today is going to be something a little bit special you know you usually have when you when you when you deal with like your fish and things like that most people have the same thing it's always there the salmon or tuna, tilapia. You wanna switch it up a little bit. You know, you wanna get your cod, you wanna get your whatever, just do something different. So I told my wife, let's try something different. We're gonna have some rockfish. So every time we look at chartering boats out here to go fishing, it's always rockfish season. So I was like, let's get some rockfish. So today we're gonna have some baked rockfish over spinach. It's gonna be quick, simple, easy. So let me show you what I got here. Of course, I got the rockfish. Got all this for 1462 at Costco's. Costco's hooks your boy up. Then, of course, you got your vegetable broth, got your baby spinach. What you're going to do is you're going to layer the bottom with the baby spinach, pour in your vegetable broth. You're going to cut up. I know this is struggle. My green peppers on struggle mode here. I'm going to get the good pieces. Got a problem with buying too many vegetables, and sometimes this happens, but we're not going to let it go to waste. Going to chop up a little bit of green peppers, some onions. Going to layer the top of the rockfish with the lemon. Going to cut little quarters out of the Roma tomatoes, and it's going to be delicious. And as a side, even though you're going to have the spinach, I got my skillet going on right there. I'm going to make some uh, sliced up seasoned potatoes. Every time everybody eats it, they'll be like, wow, well, those potatoes were so good. Those potatoes were the bomb, Dave. And all it is is you just get your little baby potatoes. I get this from Costco's too, the little creamer potatoes. Chop it up, put on that kicking chicken finger licking, even though it's not chicken, but this seasoning here on those potatoes, it's on point, I'm telling you. A little secret there. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna get this fish clean, season. Oh, that's right, season it with whatever you like. So with that, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of dogo, of course. Course, you know my wife's Puerto Rican we put adobo on everything and then of course I got my rosemary garlic here and I also got some oregano basil and tomato I'm gonna pop this on there I get all this seasoning from Burlington it's like $2.99 it's just like I, I don't know everybody else is all shopping and everything I'm looking at seasonings I, I love to try different seasonings and believe it or not let me show you one more thing here I picked up this roasted garlic and red bell pepper this stuff is delicious my wife hates it it's delicious here's the funny part you know how it is when you're 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 younger and you're growing up and you try something it's nasty but when you get older, it, it's delicious. I don't know. Well, I remember my mom used to always put Mrs. Dash on stuff. It was, eh. I don't even want to miss his dad. Yeah. This stuff is like Mrs. Dash, but on steroids. It's so much better. I, I don't know. The gourmet collection, that's what all this stuff is that I get the seasonings at Burlington, the gourmet collection. $2.99, like I said, you can't beat. Oh, I lied. $3.99. I'm pretty sure those were $2.99. This one, I just paid a little bit more. But the gourmet collection, they have some amazing seasoning. So if you're ever in the Burlington, check the owl for seasoning. It's right there near the pots and pans. They're always hidden on the back shelves. You get some excellent stuff there. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get the stuff clean and we're going to go ahead and season it. And I'm going to show you the process. Okay, I got the potatoes chopped up. This is all I do is just take the potato, just kind of just slice it. Like maybe two or three out of each potato. That's all. And the fish is seasoned. That seasoning, the gourmet collection is on point. I mean, you can have something. It, it don't even have to be good. But you know what? It looks good. <laughs> but no, those, the seasonings are really great so let's go ahead and get these vegetables chopped up and it's time to get this baby in the oven
vegetables all chopped up looking nice got your onions your green peppers now when i was chopping the green peppers i was going to go with strips and then i was going to go with I, I didn't know what i was going to do so this is what i ended up with or what i could scavenge of what was left on the good parts of the green peppers then you got your tomatoes your onions so now before we get started it's time for your rockfish fact rockfish also known as rock cod or pacific red snapper some of these fish don't breed until they're 20 years old so it kind of makes them um, a little bit risky for overfishing actually very interesting 20 years old before they breed. Hopefully we don't run out of rockfish. Rockfish have venomous spine. You gotta be really careful when you handle them. You can actually get pricked and it can cause a little bit of damage there. Not only are they at risk for overfishing, but they can also send you to the ER. And lastly, while their taste is the, usually the first thing that attracts seafood lovers, they are very, very healthy for you. You get your source of protein, vitamin D, vitamin B12, phosphorus. This fish is just a multivitamin. There's your rockfish facts. Time to roll the sleeves up. The spinach, it says thoroughly washed. I don't trust that. Your boy doesn't trust that. I'll wash it again. Can't have too clean spinach. So you're just gonna take your spinach. I'm gonna use the whole bag, dump it down there. It looks like a lot. So I put it all in there. It looks like a lot, but as you know, when you cook spinach, it's gonna shrivel down. It's gonna shrink up, get in there. Now it's time for the broth. Now, normal recipes, what it calls for is like half a cup of broth. You don't want to do that because it's going to be very, very watery. So instead of using a half a cup, it's going to be too watery. I got a third a cup here. I'm not even going to use that. So it's going to be equivalent to about three tablespoons. So I'm going to pour a little bit of broth in there. Just about that, that amount. And you just want to kind of layer the top of the spinach. Now we're just gonna place our rockfish on there. Folks, that looks good already. Now we wanna just go ahead and take our peppers, kinda toss it around the spinach area. You can put a few on top. Like I said, I'm just kinda utilizing what I had in there so it didn't go to waste. Peppers were on struggle mode as you've seen. Then we're gonna take our onions and go ahead and layer the top. Now we're gonna put our tomatoes nice and neat on there. Lastly, you wanna get that lemon flavor in there. Pop your lemons on top. That looks good. I'm starving. Shell and I haven't eaten since breakfast. It was like almost 12 hours ago and I've been working hard all day. That looks delicious. I'm super excited to see how this turns out. You want to set your oven on 400 degrees, preheat it, set it 400 degrees, put this in there for 20 to 25 minutes until the fish starts to flake and then it's time to eat. But what we're also going to do is drop potatoes on a skillet, put the seasoning on the potatoes after it hits the skillet, keep stirring that for 20 25 minutes, then get in my belly. Potatoes, the potatoes. Be careful because you're gonna get the little splash back from the water there. It's not too bad. I actually pulled it off for a little bit. And now get your kicking chicken finger licking gourmet collection. And don't be scared to season. Hey, look, the price tag fell off. That was $3.99 also compared to $6.99. But don't be scared to season. You see some people, they're a little, oh, oh, okay, it's done. No, no, hook it up, hook it up. I'm going to flip it over anyway. And then we're just going to pop the lid on there. I'm going to turn it up to medium. Pop the lid on there. Let that sit for 20, 25 minutes. Of course, stir it every six, seven minutes or so. You don't want it to burn. It's kind of hard to cook them on both sides, but it's going to be delicious. Been 25 minutes let's check on everything i've been stirring the potatoes looking nice looking nice and let's check on the main course there oh yeah i think it's about ready let me try it out with a fork yeah i think it's ready that's what i was referring to why you don't want to put too much broth in there as you can see it's already very liquidy we're gonna go ahead now get ready to pull this out so there we have it it's time to hook those plates up and just like that folks dinner is served you got your rock fish over spinach your chopped up potatoes there seasoned potatoes this looks fantastic thank you guys so much for tuning in it's your boy dave i just took you to damn good cooking community college rockfish style your boy dave signing out till next time peace mm -hmm.